Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing the Cross Watcher series for if your ex is a Taurus. So if you have an ex that was born under the sun sign, moon, rising, or Venus sign of Taurus, then you are on the right video. So let's see what our Taurus friends are up to. Whoa. Okay. The Four of Swords in reverse. And the Two of Wands were the first two that came out. The Lovers. The Five of Cups. Whoops. Knocked over half my deck. Okay. And let's see, one more card. And the Ace of Wands in reverse with the Ten of Swords in reverse. The bottom of the deck is they are dealing with somebody who, or this could be them as well, um, very um, out of balance, very hurtful, saying hurtful things, out of control, um, could be somebody that they have children with, or uh, or this is somebody who they thought was a soulmate, but it's not. And there could be a fire. Look at that. Wow, Taurus. There is a fire sign, female and male, influencing the out or the bottom of the deck, and a six of cups in reverse. Okay, let's see what our Tauruses are doing. Okay, so um, in their current situation, they are not wanting to uh, go within, to look um, within, to figure out what it is that they have to heal from. They're going through a lot of hurt in the current, um, in their current energy, obviously with... Uh, with that energy around them, but they need time to heal. They need to um, take a break, take a rest, take a time out from the rest of the world and focus on themselves. Um, take time to heal themselves. Take time to heal their soul. Um, their current thoughts are they're, they're going within a lot, looking within to see where things went wrong with you um, or um, with somebody that they just left if this was a third party situation, but their, um, their thoughts are, they don't know where to go from here. They don't know which direction to move in because they haven't taken the time to heal what it is that they're hurt from. So they're finding a lot of confusion, um, within where, where do I go from here? Um, and their feelings, they do have a lot of love for you. They want to be um, in a commitment with you, but um, they're just not quite sure how to get their thoughts and their feelings on the same page. Um, in their wishes, they are wishing that this broken heart would heal. They're hoping this broken heart wouldn't hurt so bad. They're hoping that whoever deceived them would um come back and pick up those three cups that they kicked over on their way out the door. They are mourning um, the loss of this relationship, but they're in this form of depression that they're just sad. There's just sadness. They're not healing from it yet. Um, they're refusing to look in because it hurts too bad. Um, this is some really uh, sad feelings, some really um missing you energy um, because they have a lot of love for you. They thought this would last a lifetime, um, but they're finding out that it's not. They could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, their outside influences is the two of cups. So dealing with somebody that um, at one point in time, they shared everything. They shared a life together. They shared a relationship. They, um, oh, Possibly had kids with this person, uh, but they're just, um, their outside influences is they're trying to, 
They're trying to not see their partner move on, is what I just heard. So, um, if you are watching this for Taurus, you could um, have left them for a third party or... Uh, yeah, or they had the third party, and they're sad because they don't know who to pick. They don't know which one to pick. I'm seeing, like, two or three different situations here. Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, okay, I'm going to start this over because I have two clear, defined uh, stories that are going through my head right now. So, okay, if you are the ex of a Taurus and you are waiting for that Taurus to return to you, so they are the one that left you, um, and you're wanting the Taurus to come back to you. Okay, they, um, they had to leave the situation because uh, the intense vibrations the two of you shared together, the intense emotions um, that the two of you felt were so in, um, so intense that you two had to separate. Um, and in that time of separation, uh, that is when you guys both heal from your past hurts, your past karma. Um, you deal with your past karmic debts. You um, take your karmic lessons. You get your shit figured out and you get back together. This person is not um, putting in the work just yet. They're kind of in this like limbo of, I know that I got shit I got to deal with, but... Um, I don't know how to deal with it, so I'm just going to kind of chill out here for a little bit and kind of a uh, feel sorry for myself mentality. If you're a Taurus watching this, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to offend you, but they're kind of playing that victim role right now. Um, their current thoughts are they don't know which path to choose. They don't want to go within to uh, see what their true heart's desire is because when they dig in deep to see their true heart's desire, they're going to come across those true hurts too. So they're just kind of avoiding um, making a decision on what path to go um, because they don't want to deal with um, the pain just yet. Their, uh, their feelings are they do have unconditional love for you. They will return to you. But there's something they had to put aside first. There's something they had to they had to choose. There was another person. And um, they have to untie themselves from this person before they can come back to you. Even though they know you're their soulmate. You know they know you love them and and they love you. They um and their wishes, they're wanting to move past from one of these relationships and be able to move forward with their two of cups heading towards the waterfall to replenish them. That is what they're, they're wishing for. They just want to, uh, be over this hurt and onto the happiness, the, the, the joy, the, you know, the abundance of a beautiful relationship. Their outside influences is, um, you are waiting for them to return. There could be some pressure on them to, or they feel there's pressure on them from you to hurry up and get this done and, and heal and move um, back into a relationship. Um, there's definitely duality here though. Um, with the lovers, the two of cups, this is most definitely a twin flame soulmate, um, situation, but, uh, <clears throat> Right now, they are trying to deal with how I'm going to separate myself from this energy that I'm already committed to. The outcome is the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Swords. So until this Ten of Swords is dealt with, until this comes in the upright and, and they allow the swords to fall out, until they get out of this victim mode mentality, until they um, go within and face those hurts head on and heal and move forward, forward, there's not going to be a new beginning just yet. There's um, a lack of passion. There's a lot of sadness here. Um, and it could be due to losing somebody else in their life. Um, it could be due to these uh, ooh, this couple from hell that are in the reverse. Um, no offense if you're a fire sign, but when they're in the reverse together, it's double the trouble. So they got a lot of heavy energy around them that they're trying to move on past um, if you are the one waiting for the Taurus to return. Um, if you are watching and you're uh, 
you are the one that left a Taurus and you are wondering what they are up to. They are still um, hurting from you walking away, from you leaving. They're just kind of stagnant and stuck as well because they're hoping you will return. They're hoping you will come back um, because they felt that uh, this was forever. They felt that this was supposed to make, last till the end of time. They picked you and you were supposed to pick them is how they feel. Um, they wish you would come back and take their cup. They're standing there with both of them. Um, offering one of them to you and they're hoping that you will look past what happened in the past and come back and accept their cup from them. Um, they are, will only be two of you this time. If you are the one that took off from a Taurus because of a third party, they're promising, um, this, the two of cups, the equal give and take of emotion, um, a soulmate relationship, uh, but the outcome is still the same until either you or them, whoever it is, deals with this heartache, deals with this um, deceitful energy that uh, they're so close with it in the reverse. They are so close, but until it, they're done and healed and gone within and dealt with all this pain, are they going to be able to offer you a passionate new beginning or accept your um, offer? So, there it is here though that is the best part once this flips over bam reunion but right now it's like this so they just have to have a little bit of time the separation is needed right now um because they're dealing with a lot of uh a lot of pain a lot of thoughts in their head a lot of uh a lot of heartache they're really i feel their energy too Man. Wow. Forgiving and learning. So before this relationship can come into a union or reunion, a lot of release and healing from the past needs to happen. And once that happens, then they will be able to experience love in their current moments, in their in the present. Um, but there was a lot of this done so there a lot of forgiving and learning has to be done the bottom of the deck is religious factors you guys are on two different um parts of your healing journey uh as twin flames you separate to heal your past hurts and deal with your past karmic debts and when those are dealt with healed and moved forward then you two come back in together well you guys are just a little bit different places in your path you're a little bit ahead of them um, they still have a lot of healing to do, a lot of forgiving, and a lot of learning. So be patient with these guys. They have dealt with a lot for this group of you, a lot of hurt, a lot of deceit, and and, it, and a lot of it is not even from you. Um, it's from a different partner that they are still trying to um, heal from. So just try to be there for them um, if they reach out to you and know that they will be back. But... Uh, for this group of you, but it's going to take quite, it's going to take a little bit of time. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a good night. I hope you enjoyed this reading for your ex-Tauruses, and I will see you next time. God bless.